In my last video, I talked about the 12 mistakes to avoid when taking creatine, but now we need to talk about mega dosing with creatine because there's a whole nother world of creatine benefits that a lot of people don't know about and at the same time, a lot of people are just now starting to discover. So there's been a lot of discussion on mega dosing creatine, not talking about the standard five grams of creatine that our creatine products recommend and that most people know about, but we're talking about the mega doses of like 10, 15, 20, 25, 30 grams of creatine per day. And when you start to get into that level of dosage, that high of dosage, you're no longer talking about it from a standpoint of building muscle, which is the only reason I was taking creatine. But no, when we're talking about mega dosing, we're talking about how it affects things outside the muscle, brain benefits, how it affects your cognitive abilities, your memory, your ability to think sharper, quicker. So of course, I'm going to talk about what megadosing means, what the research shows about megadosing creatine. I'm going to talk about why people are trying it and why more people are starting to catch on to taking, in the past, would be considered obscene amounts of creatine. I'm going to talk about potential risks, downsides of megadosing creatine. And then I'm going to discuss my own experience with it. Because in one of my last videos about when I took creatine, I had very interesting experiences, which I discussed in that video. And I'm going to break it down a little bit more here. So what megadosing creatine used to mean is when you first start taking creatine, the idea is you want to saturate your muscles with creatine as quickly as possible. Instead of starting off with a recommended five grams a day, you start off with 20 grams a day, more or less 20. And you do that for about a week. And that was typically the time period that it took for your muscles to become fully saturated with creatine with 20 grams. And then after you complete that process, you're good to just drop it down to, again, the recommended dosage of five grams of creatine a day because that is a minimum amount that it takes to maintain the saturation of the creatine in your muscles. That method has been around for decades. It's a typical bodybuilding approach to creatine, but the new mega dosing of creatine that people are starting to discover nowadays is, again, you're taking 20 or more grams of creatine. And the results of taking that much creatine daily, not just the preloading phase but continuously and the benefits of that to other parts of your body outside the muscles namely the brain is what's starting to get noticed by a lot of studies in the scientific community so why are people starting to take that much creatine the first reason is for brain health and optimization creatine is stored and used by both the muscles and the brain although most people just knew it for being stored and used by the muscles your body itself makes creatine on its own only about a little bit only about one to two grams of creatine daily but it does make creatine on its own which means that creatine is something that's vital to the body. Otherwise, it just wouldn't be making the creatine at all. And so then adding supplemental creatine to that already gives your brain something that it craves and thrives on. That level of creatine, that's when it starts to surpass the muscle usage and starts to be used by the brain. Creatine even helps with people who are sleep deprived which is another aspect that I was discussing in my last video. I was sleep deprived for various reasons. I just wasn't getting any sleep day in and day out. At the same time, I was supplementing on creatine. And for some reason, I was able to push through the sleep deprivation like I never had before. For some reason, I was able to stay awake, focus, think clearly while only averaging like a couple hours of sleep a day. My workouts and physique was enhanced. I was still having good workouts with no sleep. That is one of the benefits that creatine does because creatine acts as an energy buffer for your brain. This is especially important for people who are vegetarians because creatine is something that's naturally found in meat, or at least it's found in the highest dosage in meat products. So people who are vegetarians who just don't eat meat at all miss out on pretty much all creatine that you can get from food. And that is where supplementation, specifically megadosing creatine, is going to be beneficial for vegans and vegetarians. And a study in 2006 found that creatine supplementation helps negate the lack of energy that you get from sleep deprivation. And it helped them preserve reaction time, mood, memory, and balance. Actually improve processing speed and working memory for up to nine hours. Faster reaction times, less mental fatigue, which is, again, all the things that I experienced when I was on creatine. And I wasn't anticipating experiencing this. I just noticed that it happened all of a sudden. It's all about giving the brain cells more energy reserves to help them push through stress, the lack of energy, the lack of sleep, and so on. Now, taking this extra dosage of 20 or more grams of creatine on a daily basis doesn't add any extra benefits for the muscles because once your muscles are fully saturated with the creatine, they cannot become any more saturated. So that continuous 20 grams of creatine per day, that extra creatine that you do have is just gonna go straight to your brain. But a lot more creatine already added to fully saturated muscles is not going to give them an extra benefit. This is kind of a new study. These are kind of new findings. And so there isn't long-term studies, and I'm talking about like decades or more, of the effects of megadosing on the brain, like all the things that I just mentioned. So the vast majority of studies on creatine have been the typical three to five grams of creatine per day. And the parts about megadosing creatine is a fairly new study with a lot less data behind it because both our liver and our brain make creatine. So creatine is used by the muscles to make energy. It can increase muscle mass. It can increase muscle strength. And some of that is 
is, especially in the beginning, is the water retention, is the water that creatine makes your body draw into the muscles. But drawing in water into the muscles is part of the process, along with the energy that creatine gives you to enhancing the performance of your muscles, which in turn increases the size of your muscles because you're able to push more weight, perform with heavier workloads for longer periods of time, which all are essential for building muscle. And because of the increased energy stores, it also decreases the rest time in between sets and increases your training value. But your brain consumes a lot of energy and needs a lot of energy. And megadosing with the 20 grams of creatine, more or less, sometimes 15, sometimes 25, 30 or more, is going to give your brain that excess energy because your brain uses up so much energy in the first place. So all of a sudden, when you're megadosing with creatine, you have a surplus of energy for the brain. And when your brain has this surplus of energy, you start to experience all those positive side effects. And this also has counted for emotional or psychological stress or even high cognitive load where you're learning new concepts, you're learning a lot of information every day, really anything that just puts stress on your brain. So any kind of stressful condition, that's where creatine shines in the brain. And a lot of universities and doctors are starting to look into this. One of them that was prominent for looking into the positive effects of give you increased energy while being extremely sleep deprived and having and experiencing large amounts of stress on the brain. It was written about by an author named Ali Gorgi Neja. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Particularly finding that if you take someone you sleep deprived them for about a day, and you give them about 25 to 30 grams of creatine. It completely cancels out the cognitive downside that you will get from sleep deprivation. That doses of creatine will push you back up to your normal limits as you have gotten adequate sleep. But now some of the side effects that come with megadosing at that high of a level is always typically gastrointestinal stress, you know, like the bloating, the cramping, and so on. Another downside to megadosing with creatine is the stress that it puts on your kidneys. That is almost always, if people have pre-existing kidney conditions, consume excessive amounts of alcohol. You take creatine and add that to it that's going to be detrimental to your kidneys and what scares and concerns a lot of people and this happened to me when i first started taking creatine is that when you go to get your blood work while you're on creatine your doctors will tell you that your kidneys are being worked too hard they're being overworked because your kidneys are producing too much of what's called creatinine that's been the common train of thought however creatinine is a byproduct that is made from taking creatine creatine is broken down and creatinine is that byproduct, is the waste product, if you will. And so naturally, you're going to have elevated levels of creatinine because you're on creatine. But this doesn't necessarily mean that your kidneys are being overworked. So that's why that interpretation of your kidneys is given to you if you're on creatine. And so what all that means is, is that having elevated creatinine levels produced by your kidneys is now being viewed in a different way, in a way that's not necessarily detrimental to your kidneys and your body, but in a way that's potentially just a byproduct of you taking creatine and not necessarily you causing damage to your body and your kidneys. But these are aspects that are considered when you're megadosing with creatine. The typical recommended dosage of three to five grams of creatine per day is the one that's been studied the most, the one that's been studied the longest. If you're curious about my experience of megadosing creatine, it's positive. It's like all the stuff that I mentioned is what I experienced. And I wasn't expecting to experience the energy that I had despite averaging three hours of sleep a day. That part, it just caught me off guard. Mentally, I felt sharper while being under a lot of stress. Now, if you want to learn about the 12 mistakes to avoid when you are taking creatine so that you can be sure that you're taking creatine properly, I have a video about it right here. Click it and check it out so you can learn what not to do when taking creatine so that you can get the maximum benefits of taking creatine.